Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slash Gear, and today we're unboxing Nokia's N900. Now, this is uh, not officially on sale yet, uh, so Nokia have sent over a pre production version. Uh, it was announced uh, about a month ago at Nokia World, um, and it's the first phone, well, first device from Nokia to run the Mimo 5 operating system. So let's have a look and see what you get in the box. As you can see, the retail packaging is quite nice. It's this matte charcoal. Open it up. There's the phone itself, so we'll put that to one side and come back to it in a minute. Inside, we've got uh, the battery. Um, that's a 1320 mAh battery. Power adapter, and that goes to a micro USB port. Uh, there's a, an audio connector there which goes from micro USB to, oh, that's power connector, I should say, to um, Nokia's sort of traditional power supply. Uh, a screen cloth. Uh, this is an AV cable, so you can plug in the N900 into your TV uh, audio as well. Mini USB to USB to plug into your computer so you can sync it and then there's a hands-free kit with a microphone call answer button clip on there and some rubbery earpieces there and a selection of different sized earpieces if you've got bizarrely shaped ears uh, also lurking at the very bottom there's the getting started guide with just a, a few things that we'll probably never read. So let's have a look at the phone itself. As you can see it's a um, pretty sizeable handset. Um, take off that stick label on the front. Uh, it's got 3.5 inch uh, resistive touchscreen running at uh, wide VGA resolution, uh, front mounted video camera, which you probably can't see there. Um, around the sides, we've got a uh, speaker and the micro USB port. Uh, nothing underneath apart from pull out stylus, which is pretty long actually. On the bottom, uh, there's a headphone socket and the release switch for the battery panel underneath. Along here we've got the camera shortcut button, power button and volume keys. And on the back, take this sticker off, uh, you can see there's a Carl Zeiss camera there, uh, it's a 5 megapixel one with autofocus and a dual LED flash. And there's also this little kickstand as well, so you can stand the N900 up to watch video, that kind of thing. Of course the reason it's so thick is that you can start it open and there's a full QWERTY keyboard underneath. Uh, it's all got this kind of offset spacebar that we saw on the Nokia N97 and the N97 Mini. Uh, but we found with the N97 it wasn't actually so big a deal, it kind of falls underneath your, your right hand thumb there. We take the back cover off. If we can Rise it off. Try not to break things. Uh, as you can see, there's a slot here for a micro SD card. Uh, the N900 actually has 32 gigabytes of memory built in, and the battery slots into there. Obviously, the SIM card slot underneath. So we'll get it turned on, we'll get a SIM card in, and we'll have a full review, even though this is actually running pre-production firmware. Uh, Nokia promised us that we'll get the, the latest kind of firmware as it heads towards release. Uh, but we'll have a, a hands-on, some first impressions on Slash Gear very soon. Thanks for watching.